now to a CBS 4 News health alert and some big news today surrounding the Zika virus. There are four new local cases in South Florida, a fifth confirmed on the west coast of the state. Also announced today, the area of concern in Wynwood is shrinking. CBS 4's Tiani Jones is there live now with more. Tiani. Well, obviously, businesses are happy to hear that that zone is shrinking, but quite frankly, they're sick of hearing about the zone and feel like there should only be one zone the entire city of Miami. For the map to be lifted. A shrinking map is good. No map even better. Joseph First with the Wynwood Improvement District says this shaded area that the state created and labeled a Zika zone is just wrong. And I think the map needs to be lifted for several reasons. From a policy perspective, it creates a false sense of security for people that are outside of the map when we all know this is a regional, state, and, and national issue. And for those that reside within the map, it creates tremendous economic impact. I mean, they're going to shrink it here. It's probably going to grow around the rest of the state. So, I mean, I think it's something that we all are going to be dealing with for a long time. But Adam Gersten, owner good. of Gramson Wynwood, says while business is better, other cities and states need to take note of what's happening in Wynwood. This is not a Florida problem. And I think that what we're really maybe starting to understand now is that we need to see more action from at every level of government, science, I mean, everyone needs to be involved in solving this problem because it's, it's something that's really going to affect the entire country. As the virus continues to spread from Wynwood to Miami Beach to a new case in the Tampa area, Governor Rick Scott makes his rounds. We've allocated $26.2 million out of the state budget uh, to date. His office sent out a press release announcing the shrinking zone in Wynwood, but at the same time mentioning new cases in the area. I find the press releases coming from the governor's office to be uh, dissatisfying, frankly misleading. Um, I think they're quite problematic. Uh, if you read the first paragraph of it, it, it makes it seem as if though there's four new cases, which as you read deeper, you realize that's not the case. Business owners say they can only wait and see how much more they'll be impacted. And in the meantime, people should just put on repellent and continue to live their lives. The new normal here in Wynwood is business leaders coming together, having meetings, trying to see how they can drive business back into Wynwood. They're going to be having another one of those meetings on tomorrow. Reporting live in Wynwood, Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News.